Hi! Welcome again to our channel, The Literary Poetry Vlog. I'm Christine E. Floria, your poetry buddy. In this video is another episode where we share, talk, and explore all about poetry. We will be reading one of the fantastic poems written by a famous British artist and poet, Edward Lear. But before we dive in into reading the poem, let us first know who is Edward Lear. So who is Edward Lear? Edward Lear is born in May 12, 1812 in the Highgate, England. At the age of 75, he died in January 29, 1888 in San Remo, Italy. He is an English landscape painter and a writer in an original kind of nonsense verse and a popularizer of the libre. Lear suffered all his life from epilepsy and melancholia. But all through his natural timid body, he is a constant traveler exploring Italy, Greece, Albania, Palestine, Syria, Egypt, India, and Ceylon, which is now Sri Lanka. So that is Edward Lear. And now, let's move to the background of the poem. So the Owl and the Pussycat is a nonsensical poem of English literature. When we say nonsensical poem, it is any sort of poetry that is nonsense in nature, be it that the words are made up and meaningless, or it exists but has a little sense or make a little sense in the context they use. It is often light-hearted and has a simple rhyming schemes. It is often made to entertain the children. The Owl in the Pussycat was first published in 1871 in the book Nonsense Songs, Stories, Botany, and Alphabets. Another is that Edward Lear wrote this poem for his friend's daughter, Janet Simons. Janet was born in, was born in 1865, and Edward Lear wrote the poem when she was three years old. Janet was the daughter of John Addington C. Simmons. So that is the background of the poem. So what is the poem all about? It's about the love between the owl and the pussycat and their subsequent marriage with the turkey presiding their wedding. And with the help of the pig, whom they have both the ring. So now, if you're ready to listen to our poem, sit back and relax, open your ears, and widen your imagination. Let's start our reading. The Owl and the Pussycat by Edward Lear The Owl and the Pussycat went to the sea in a beautiful pea green boat. They took some honey and plenty of money, wrapped up in a five-pound note. The owl looked up to the stars above and sang to a small guitar. Oh lovely pussy, oh pussy my love, what a beautiful pussy you are. You are, you are, what a beautiful pussy you are. Pussy said to the owl, You elegant fowl, how charmingly sweet you sing. Oh, let us be married, too long we have tarried. But what shall we do for a ring? They sailed away for a year and a day to the land where the bong tree grows. And there in a wood, a piggy wig stood with a ring at the end of his nose. His nose, his nose, with a ring at the end of his nose. Dear pig, are you willing to sell for one shilling your ring? Said the piggy, I will. So they took it away and were married next day by the turkey who lives on the hill. 
they dined on means and slices of greens, which they ate with a runcible spoon. And hand in hand, on the edge of the sand, they danced by the light of the moon. The moon, the moon, they danced by the light of the moon. The Owl and the Pussycat by Edward Lear So, we have finished reading the fantastic poem. And now, let us have the analysis of the poem. So, one, basically, the title clearly stated the characters of the poem, where the poem all revolves around the love story of the owl and the pussycat. Second is that the speaker of the poem has a third-person point of view where it narrated the happenings of the poem or the story, but it also has a first-person point of view where some of the lines are being stated or narrated by the main characters. Third is that the mode of the story is romantic, as we have seen that it is about the love story of the owl and the pussycat happened in a beautiful pea green boat. We have heard so many romantic words like adoration and confession of love from the owl and the pussycat. So the mode of the poem is romantic. Fourth is that in this poem, the literary devices that the author used are First, alliteration such as in the lines like, Oh lovely pussy, oh pussy my love. In these lines, we can hear the repetition of consonant sounds of P and L. Second is personification. Personification is to attribute human qualities to inanimate things. Such as in the poem, we, can, we heard that the owl could sing and play guitar and the characters could talk. So that is a human trait that the author inanimate to the animals. The third literary device that the author used in the poem is metaphor. It's because the author compared the main characters, the owl and the pussycat, into humans. But the main characters aren't really are. They are animals comparing or are compared into humans. Fourth is the assonance. It is the repetition of vowel sounds, such as in this line of They took some honey and plenty of money, and Let us be married, so long we have tarried. So in these lines, we have heard the, sound, the vowel sounds O and E. Fifth is the imagery. So the author used the imagery to show the happiness of the characters in the poem, such as in the line that the owl and the pussycat went to the sea, or they took some honey and plenty of money, and, or, and there in a wood, a piggy wig stood with a ring at the end of his nose. So that is the literary devices that the author used in the poem. All in all, the major themes of the poem, The Owl and the Pussycat of Edward Weir are love, marriage and joy where the author creates a world with no sorrow suffering and obstacle so that is the poem all about i hope you enjoyed a lot and you have learned a lot once again i'm christine floria your poem buddy see you next week on our poem reading